Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the channel, I'm Jeremy, and we are continuing our solos over this E, B minor, D, to A chord progression. Again, that backing track is gonna be found in the description below, so definitely check that out and jam to it if you want. But um, this riff is, is kind of challenging, to be honest with you. Uh, I know I had a hard time sort of thinking it up, and usually when I have a hard time thinking up a riff, it means it's unfamiliar to me. So it generally means that I'm gonna have a hard time with it. But it's really cool, and it uses some of the, um, the I guess, the movements that we've used in riffs previously. So it's not totally unfamiliar, but it's definitely, I always say this, it's definitely a bit of a tongue twister for your fingers. But it's really cool. So again, we're playing over the uh, E, B minor, D, A. But this riff really sounds great over that last chord, over the A. But it can be played over the entire thing. But generally, if you're landing on that chord, it's gonna sound really sweet, but you don't have to. Anyway, here's the riff. Okay. So I like to think of it as two parts, and then as I practice one and get really good at it, I move on to the next part, which is probably the easiest way to do these. So I, I, I see this as one part. That's like the first part, okay? Second part is... Which I know it's a small little snippet, but it's kind of challenging. I always am very challenged doing whole step slides with my pinky. And for some reason, it just, it never wants to land where I want it to land. But definitely something to work on. Anyway, let's get down to uh, how to actually play this lick. So I like to slide with my ring finger. Doesn't matter where you slide from, but I like to slide with my ring finger on the third, uh, third string all the way up to the ninth fret. So we're basically gonna be playing this shape, which I think we've played before. So I like to slide to the ninth fret, third string, and then plop my pinky down to the 10th fret, second string. Okay. And then I do my little hybrid picking thing. I do down, up, down. It's the easiest way I can think of how to actually do this. Okay. So down, up, down. Now we're gonna place our first finger down on the first string, seventh fret. So we're basically just adding another note to this sequence of notes. This pattern, if you will. So, first finger, seventh fret. Then we're gonna pluck the third string, ninth fret. Okay, so a little bit of a string skip there. So let's do it slow. So from there, we're gonna be doing a slide with our pinky. Again, I, I have a hard time with these for some reason. I always, I always overshoot it. But. So our pinky is gonna be on the second, uh, second string, 10th fret, and we're sliding up to the 12th fret. So contextually, Okay, one more time. Okay, so now we do a little bit of a hammer on pull off sequence. Now one shape we're constantly going back to is this D shape, which is really like an A, if you know the cage system, but it's gonna be this D shape and we're really outlining this which is why it sounds really good over the A chord in this progression. 
but we're basically going to be outlining this chord shape in this little little section of the lick. Okay, first finger down on the first fret, or sorry, first string, ninth fret, hammer on, tenth fret, pull off, back to the ninth fret. And we're going to outline this shape again. Second string, 10th fret, third string, 9th fret. Hmm, let's do that without the clam. So what we're doing just, just here is so outlining that shape. I always find this a lot easier if you can pick out the shapes that you are familiar with and try to commit that to memory. Like, oh, we're just dancing around this shape. I think it becomes way easier to learn that way. And I know guitarists are not necessarily music theory focused and note focused as in like the name of the note but we are very much in tune with patterns and shapes, which I think that's why guitar is so cool because it's essentially just a big grid. And as long as you can memorize shapes on the grid, it's sort of easier to, uh, for that to act as a foundation for learning new things. And humans are really good at recognizing shapes and patterns. It's like one of the things that sets us away from, uh, sets us apart from different animals in the animal kingdom is that we have really great pattern recognition. So it's kind of ingrained in us, but anyway, that's the pattern we're doing. We're doing that D shape. It's really an A, but just kind of keep that in mind. So let's retread this. Okay. So that's, I mean, that's the hard part right there. The easy part. Do that again. Okay. So we're gonna plop our pinky down on the second string, 12th fret. Slide to the 14th fret, second string. First string, 12th fret. Back on the second string, 14th fret. Slide back to the 12th fret, second string still. Pull off, 2nd string, 10th fret. Okay. 3rd string, 11th fret. Back to that original note, which is going to be your 2nd string, 10th fret. So. And then add a little vibrato. Like always, at the end, add a little vibrato. So really slow. And of course with the vibrato. So that's the lick. If you guys are having trouble with this, uh, the tab is on Patreon. So visit the Patreon page, which is gonna be linked in the description. Um, <clears throat> but you know, I might go fast in some of these videos. So you can always, the beauty of this, of YouTube obviously, is that you can slow it down and you can scrub back to where you need to and just re-watch sections of this video over and over again. I know that's how I do it. <clears throat> so I know sometimes it seems like it feels like I'm going fast on this instruction, but I just know that you guys have the capability of just rewinding and watching little sections over and over and over again. Cause I mean, that's pretty much what I do when I'm trying to learn something new. Um, but yeah, let me know how this look is going for you guys. I think it's a really cool one. Um, it was really hard for me to get at first. Doing hybrid picking helps a lot, but you can totally, You can totally do it with just a pick. I mean, sometimes I like the way a pick with everything just sounds, because it sounds more like authoritative. <clears throat> but um, I do like incorporating my ring finger into hybrid picking because it's just, again, I've said it before in other videos, it just allows me to rest my palm on the strings without moving my hand as much. But um, that's it for the lick. I like this one a lot. Let me know how it goes for you guys. Um, 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me know that, uh, hey, what I'm doing is good and you guys are liking it. Um, again, Patreon for the tabs, check out the Patreon. Uh, lots of other cool videos on the Patreon too that I'm gonna be uploading as we go. That's gonna be a bit of an evolutionary process. And uh, the backing track is also in the description. So practice this over the backing track. And I mean, I would love it if you guys could send me you jamming over the backing track. One, because I'd like to learn some new stuff, which is really the genesis of why I'm doing all this. Is that so I don't forget these licks? But um, I'm trying to create a community of like-minded people who just love guitar and soloing and really just anything music, honestly. And I want to see what you guys have to offer too. So maybe if you can just jam over the backing track and show me what you have, that would be really cool. Um, anyway, that's it for the video. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.